My name is Dr. Samreen Safdar. I'm a student of postgraduate diploma in endocrinology by University of South Wales, United Kingdom. I'm going to talk about fine thyroid fine needle aspiration today. Thyroid gland is a butterfly shaped organ present in front of the windpipe, also called trachea, just below the voice box or Adam's apple. It weighs 10 to 20 grams in the normal adults. Its development is detectable in the third week of gestation. It produces hormones called T3 and T4. They regulate the body metabolism. Thyroid gland can develop different problems. One of the commonly encountered problems is thyroid nodule. Thyroid nodules can be palpable clinically or detected as incidental finding during an ultrasound procedure such as carotid ultrasound or neck CT scan or PET scan. They were also called incidentalomas. Although thyroid nodules are common and are usually benign, however, 5 to 15 percent prove to be malignant. The risk is higher in the patients with previous exposure of neck radiations or positive family history of thyroid cancer. Therefore, identification of suspicious nodule often prompts a diagnostic evaluation. The most accurate way of examining the thyroid nodule is ultrasound. Ultrasound is the procedure that uses high-frequency sound waves to produce live images of body tissue. Thyroid ultrasound provides detailed map of thyroid gland and adjacent structures and is required to confirm the presence of nodularity, to assess the ultrasound features and to determine the need of fine needle aspiration. Thyroid nodules with microcalcifications, hypoecogenicity, irregular borders, more anterior posterior length carries high suspicion for malignancy. Whereas benign lesions are typically cystic, well defined with regular borders, isoechoic, and without microcalcifications. Patients presenting with multiple thyroid nodules have same risk of malignancy as with solitary nodules. Thyroid ultrasound alone is 98.5% specific for detection of benign pathology. How the fine needle aspiration is performed? Before that, I would like to say that FNA can be performed directly without ultrasound guidance. However, the use of ultrasound improves the cytological diagnostic accuracy rate and reduces the need of repeat biopsy, especially in the known palpable or difficult to palpate nodules, predominantly cystic nodules, posteriorly located nodules, or nodules in close proximity to blood vessels. Ultrasound guided FNA is also recommended for repeat FNA after initial non-diagnostic result and for nodules demonstrating growth on serial ultrasound exams. Numerous studies have found FNA to be accurate, safe, rapid, cost-effective and minimally invasive diagnostic tool for the management of thyroid nodules. How the ultrasound guided FNA is performed this procedure is performed by an endocrinologist or ultrasonologist in a comfortable room. Patient is positioned supine in slight, with a slight neck extension. Neck is cleaned and the local anesthetic is used to numb the area. Sample of the tissue is obtained percutaneously with a narrow gauge needle such as 25 to 27 gauge attached to disposable 5 to 10 ml syringe and guided parallel to or at the angle of ultrasound beam detected by transducer. Here I would like to show you a video demonstrating the use of ultrasound guided FNA. 
as you can see here the needle path is observed on the screen in more than one plane while the operator maneuvers the needle to puncture the nodule and it is very clear and easy procedure with the real time ultrasonography as you can see again how the needle is directed by the ultrasound transducer and on the screen we can see a nodule and the needle will hit directly the nodule and to get the adequate sample this also decreases the risk of damage to the adjacent structures after that after the aspiration aspirate is spreaded on slides to stain by different methods mainly diff quick and ultra fast pap smears are used for the cytological examination complications due to fna are extremely rare but may include persistent pain hematoma infection and the recurrent laryngeal nerve palsy these complications can be avoided by proper analgesia sterilization and discontinuation of anticoagulants warfarin plavix and aspirin before the procedure fine needle aspiration when it is guided by the ultrasound carries almost sensitivity of 65 to 98 percent whereas 72 to 100 persons it is specific with a positive predictive value of around 75 percent with the only less than 5 percent false negative rate and the false positive rate We can classify thyroid nodule according to cytology into five different categories. Thy one is a non-diagnostic due to inadequate sample. Thy two is benign lesion. Thy three is a follicular lesion, neoplasia or follicular lesion of undetermined significance or atypia of undetermined significance. Thy four is a specious lesion and thy five is malignant lesion. Risk of malignancy in the different lesions varies. In the Thai one, when it is non-diagnostic, basically what we need is to repeat the FNA again, preferably with the high-resolution ultrasound. Thai two is a benign lesion. The risk of malignancy is less than one percent, and we need a regular serial ultrasound examination follow-ups. Thai 3 is a follicular lesion or follicular lesion of undetermined significance or ATP of undetermined significance. It carries the risk of malignancy from 5 to 30 percent and repeat FNA or the surgery is recommended plus minus molecular diagnostic testing for the better management plan. Thai 4 is suspicious. It carries the risk of malignancy around 50 to 75 percent and Thai 5 is malignant. Both Thai 4 and Thai 5 goes for total thyroidectomy. In the end, I would like to conclude that ultrasound guided FNA is the simple and safe procedure of choice for the proper evaluation of thyroid nodules. Thank you.